Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and I'm going to show you how to create a comparison table of WooCommerce products. It's going to look like this one where you've got your products listed in a table with various information so that customers can compare the different products. There'll be various ways for customers to refine their list, effectively creating a short list. So they can click on filters to narrow down the list. They can choose a tag, they can choose a size and so on until there's a smaller number of products which they will then compare. And once they've chosen which product in the list they want, they can tick whatever products they want to buy and add them straight to the cart or from the comparison table. We're going to do it using a plugin called WooCommerce product table, which is what you need to list the products in the table. As well as that, you need a WordPress website with WooCommerce already installed and some products added. And that's where we're going to start this tutorial. So I've got a website that I'm going to show you. In the back end, I've got WooCommerce already set up and you can see that I've got a category called T-shirts where I've added some products. And I want to create a comparison table of the T-shirts, which will list all the data about the T-shirts so that customers can look at them side by side and choose which T-shirt they want to order. And in addition to that, you need to get the WooCommerce product table plugin and install that as well. So once you've done those two things, then come back to this tutorial and watch me setting up the comparison table. The next thing we're going to do is add a new page. So we'll go to pages, add new, and let's just call it comparison table. And what I need to do, I'll just select full width. You can have a sidebar on the page if you want, um, which allows you to have filter widgets as well, but let's keep it simple for now and I'll just add a simple table directly to the page. So the first thing we do is we open brackets, square brackets, and we write product underscore table. And if you just close your brackets there, then that will create a comparison table just listing every product that you've got on your website added in WooCommerce. I just want to show my t-shirts because I have other products on my website. So I'm going to write category equals, and then within quotation marks, t-shirts. Now t-shirts is the slug of my category. You can find your category slug by going to products categories in WooCommerce, and that's where you can find exactly what to enter here. So let's preview the page and have a look at the comparison table so far. So there we have a comparison table page, which just lists all of my products, all of my t-shirt products from that category in a standard format. So at the moment, the WooCommerce product table plugin is what we've used to create this table and it comes with some default views. So all of these bits are added by default. And next I'm going to show you how to change them. Similarly, it's added some default columns here so that you've got name, summary, which is the short description, price, and the add to cart column, which is called buy. And I'll also show you how to change that to make it even more like a comparison table so that customers can really compare the data about your products and decide which ones they want. Now we're gonna go back to the table where, page where we just added the short code and let's do the columns next. So what I want to do is tell WooCommerce product table which columns to include in the table. We're going to write columns equals, and this is all within the square brackets I showed you before. And then in quotation marks, I'm going to list some columns. Now it's really flexible. You do not have to have the same columns as me. And we have a very detailed knowledge base which shows you which columns are available. But I'm gonna use some that I think will be popular for a product comparison table. So first one I want is image, which will show a thumbnail image, which will be the main product image. I want the product name to appear. I'm pretty sure all of you are likely to want that. And then we want categories, which will list the categories that each product are in. That's actually not that relevant to what I'm doing because I'm only showing them from the t-shirts categories, but I'm showing you that because if you were just listing all your products in the same table, then categories is a really easy way for customers to narrow down the list. So I'll show you how that works. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit more complicated, which is to show products attributes. Now attributes are what you add under products 
attributes and you can then select them for each product and on my website for my t-shirts I have used size and colour as different attributes and so once you've done that then you can use WooCommerce product table to display them and as you'll see in a minute also to filter by them. So to display an attribute you need to write att colon and then the slug for the attribute that you've created which again you will find under product attributes and I happen to know that my slug is color and the other attribute I want is size so I write att colon again and the slug for this attribute is size so that will display columns so far for image name categories the color attribute the size attribute I also want to show you how to show tags the price and finally add dash to dash cart and we'll close off those quotation marks there. So that's going to list one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns in my product comparison table. So let's see what it looks like. So I've refreshed the page and you can see it's looking actually a lot more useful as a comparison table now because instead of just information like description, which we had before, which nobody's gonna use as a comparison, it's got relevant things that allow you to compare the products. So you can look at, see what they look like, so make it a bit visual. You've got the categories. Uh, like I said, all of mine are in the T-shirts category, but you could use it to further refine the list, as you can see and do that. It's got color, and if you click on a color, it will filter the list just to show products from that color. So that's another re really good way to narrow the list down so that you can compare the products. Uh, you've got, I should just reset that. Um, you've got the size, which is the other attribute I added, and again, I can just narrow it down to view small ones. And you've got tags, which are the product tags that you can add to each product. So if you're using those, then you can again narrow down the list and just compare products with a specific tag. So I've added four different ways that, of comparing the products based on data, which you can actually click on to narrow down the comparison list. In addition, you've got price, and you can click on any column to sort by price. So if customers want to compare the price of your products, then including the price column is a really handy way to do that. So that's made it a lot more useful already, but um, the only way to filter at the moment is to click on something. Um, I realize not all customers will realize that, so it's better to make filters options more obvious to people. So the next thing we're going to do is to add some drop downs above the table here, which will make it more useful because people will actually be able to filter by all of these things. So let's go back to the short code. So to add filter drop downs above the comparison table, you want to write filters equals, and then in quotation marks, you can either write filters equals true, and that will list all possible filters um, using sort of default settings, or you can actually control exactly which filters to use. And that's what I'm going to show you to make sure you know how to do it. So I want filters for categories, tags, and then I'm going to do my two attributes. So that's exactly the same terminology as I used to add them as columns. So it's at colon size and at colon color. And those are all the relevant filters that I've got in my comparison table. So let's preview the page again, wait for it to refresh. And then when it's done that, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the filters. So we've got one for categories, one for tags. You see how they work like that. You can always reset it using the reset button. We've got one for size and we've got a color as well. So you can use all of that to compare products and narrow down the list. Um, but as you can see, it's starting to look a little bit cluttered. Things like this are, are kind of, I would say, distracting from the relevant ways of comparing products, which is through filters and the search box. And you probably haven't noticed, but there's also this at the bottom of the table. So feel free to keep them if you want, but I'm gonna show you how to hide these elements now. So within my short code, I'm going to write page underscore length equals false and totals equals false and that will hide those two elements. Um, the knowledge base contains full instructions on all these things so you don't need to remember what I'm doing. 
So if we go back to the page, you can see that the show however many products has gone and also the totals at the bottom. So personally, given that we're using all these filters, I think it makes the table look cleaner and easier to navigate for people because there's no distractions. And the final thing I'm going to do to complete my comparison table is to make it easier for customers to add products to the cart. Now, by default, the Add to Cart column, which you can see here on the right, has normal Add to Cart buttons. And if the product's not available, it's out of stock, or if it's got vari variables or something like that, then it might say Read More. Um, otherwise, it's Add to Cart, just like with the rest of WooCommerce, really. But I would like customers to be able to tick multiple products and then add to the cart in a single click. So let's do that now before we finish. Back into my short code, I'm going to write cart underscore button equals checkbox. And that's within quotes as usual. So we're going to re refresh, preview the page one final time. And you'll see that the add to cart buttons have now changed to these buttons. So I can tick as many products as I like and I can add them to the cart, all from the comparison table. So as you can see, this is a really neat way to use WooCommerce to allow customers to compare products. They can start off with a big list of lots of products and then they can very quickly narrow down the list to view the products that are in the specific groups they need, whether that's based on a particular size, color, category, price, whatever. Uh, it lets you narrow down the list really quickly, choose what you want to buy, and then buy on your website. You can get WooCommerce product table on our website at barn2.co.uk, and it comes with full support from us at Barn2 Media, and also a detailed knowledge base with all the options for how to use the table. I've covered the popular options which will help you create a comparison table most easily, but there's loads more you can do with it. So have a look at the knowledge base, get the plugin and do whatever you would like to do with it. Thanks for watching.